Stacy, thank you so much for the work that you are doing. I uh, just really appreciate you. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. Great to be here with you, Bill. Yeah, well, we just saw this amazing video about Angel Tree Camping. So can you share a story of what has happened as a result of the Angel Tree Camping ministry? For sure. So we've got kids, of course, we're in the throes of Angel Tree Camping right now. We've got kids up at camp this week, and then next week it will be the uh, the last week for the summer. But we've got kids across the country that are um, that are in camps. And, you know, the video really highlighted some of the some of the benefits, but we've got some really fun stories. We had one little boy who, <laughs> this is so funny, we had one little boy who wrote us a letter after he got back from camp and, and talked about how he'd never been out of the, uh, never been out of the city before and he got to sleep by a ravine and and woke up with rabbit droppings in his hand and he was just so excited and enthralled with creation and uh and just experiences i don't think you and i might might enjoy that experience but he was just lit from uh from that experience and a lot of kids too you know they're just uh they're there at camp and they're learning they have these complicated lives that they live and and they're learning where is that point i can always count on where's that place I can always come back to and that God loves me and no matter how complex my life is I know how to get back to this point and that's just a lifelong um, skill and need that we all have Bill. Yeah I, well, I love that I think there's something really powerful about getting out of your normal zone of experience and experiencing something brand new you learn a lot about yourself and you provide an opportunity for them to learn about God. I think it's absolutely amazing. And, and when we partner with you, we at 700 Club Canada like to focus on the First Nations community. And so this year, you sent a staff member up to a reserve to witness firsthand the lives of a number of children. And so just can you tell us, give us a report. What did you see? Uh, what are your plans for deepening the engagement in this particular community? Yeah, as as we see the um, the population increase among the First Nations community in our in our prisons and jails, um, some of the um, some of the institutions are as high as ninety percent. But overall, we're between thirty three and forty percent of our prison population in Canada is First Nations. And so, as an organization, we need to be able to to respond to to that in ways that are appropriate. And so, our director programs went. Um, along with Burning Stone Ministries, which is a which is a Christian ministry, went up to to Mish, um, they call it, to a reserve up there. And, and what we are really looking to do is how do we engage um, better with this population and how do how do we really serve them um, in a way that honors God and um, and allows people to 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 meet Jesus. So we saw a lot of complexity um, up there, you know, it's um, we can tend to think, well, we just need to do this, or we just need to do this, or this is all that has to happen. Right. And sometimes we have really simplistic um, and, and idealistic, I guess, um, ideas about how things should run. So we wanted to see what some of those complexities were. A lot of mental health issues, a lot of suicide among the youth, a lot of um, a lot of really, really complex generational issues, mm -hmm. um, and a lack of expectations. Um, and so here's a community that really comes together and, and, and the First Nations community is all about community. They do community well and, uh, and they're about community and yet they're seeing that they're the, for, among the children that their future is not in the community but elsewhere. And that brings a lot of, uh, a lot of complexity. So we're going to continue to work alongside Burning Stone and um, to develop, uh, develop things into our, into our Angel Tree program. Yeah, I, I love that because I do think there's power in engaging community and understanding from a community perspective. And I, again, I think what you are doing is going to transform the entire community. It's not just going to impact people because the truth is we don't often think about the families of those who've been incarcerated. Um, we, you know, we, we think of the person and we have stigma or whatever about that, but they have families. And so what are some of the unique challenges that these families, um, and especially the children of inmates, experience? Yeah, so so uh, automatically, um, whether it's the parent or whether it's the child, um, 
self-isolating becomes a an automatic response uh, that happens. And so in in that shame that you take on because a parent is incarcerated, a spouse is incarcerated, immediately uh, people go into that space. And that really cuts off um, a lot of social opportunity, community opportunity, and and become self-limiting in, in what people believe that they can what they can do. Of course, the other thing that all single parents um, experience is that as soon as as soon as one um, parent is out of the family, uh, often immediately poverty um, is a is a result, and or or certainly a lack of a lack of financial resources is is a uh, a result and a reality of that, and then that cuts out um, that cuts out opportunities. Parents with Angel Tree, um, parents who have a child. Uh, par parents who have an incarcerated partner or children who have an incarcerated parent, there's just more responsibility placed on fewer people in the home. And so um, it's just, it's a life of less. And so that's where the Angel Tree program really wants to engage the church and equip the church to step in. It doesn't have to be a life of less. And God And God desires for all people to have a life of abundance. Yeah, I agree. And that's why we love partnering with you uh, and uh, just cheering you on. Appreciate what you do. So really quickly, we have a few seconds left, but how can our viewers get involved uh, in this year specifically? So best way is to go to our website, which is just prisonfellowship.ca. And there you'll see all kinds of different opportunities for volunteering, getting involved, um, praying, financially supporting the ministry, um, we, we keep that, uh, keep that website fresh. And so there's, uh, lots of ideas there. Well, thank you so much for, again for the amazing work that you're doing. You're making a, an amazing difference and we're cheering you on. And it is a privilege and an honor to partner with you here at the 700 Club Canada. Thank you, Stacey. Thanks so much, Bill. Yeah. And if you'd like to learn more, you can also go to our website, uh, at 700club.ca.